Hello, my name is Janet Morris and I'm Chair of STEMP, the Shad Thames Area Management Partnership. We're a community collaboration between local residents, local businesses and Southwark Council. The London Festival of Architecture kindly invited me to make a contribution to their project Texture in London. And before I do, I really have to come clean. I'm not a built environment specialist and I'm not an expert in the industry. What I am is a passionate enthusiast, which I think may give a different perspective. And if you know Shad Thames, you won't be surprised by my choice of favorite texture, which is London stock brick. This is the overwhelming color and texture of the warehouse buildings that give this area such a distinctive uh, identity. And in a previous LFA event, which was called 30 Days and 30 Objects, a curator from the Royal Academy of Arts referred to the London Stock Brick as iconic and venerated. He referred to the social implications of the London Stock Brick, but what I want to talk about is the physical aspects and really the figurative meaning for me. This area of warehouses was about security. They needed to create buildings which kept the goods inside safe. And that obviously creates the potential of a forbidding atmosphere. But by using London Stock Brick as they've done, it has a very softening, warming effect. You've got mottled yellow and brown, you've got irregular shapes, you've got imperfections in the finish, and you've got a porous quality. So even on a grey day, there's a certain warmth here. And for me, I find it quite interesting because it is literally the definition of built environment. People using bricks made by hand to create the environment that they are living in. In this case, it's a natural material, London clay, which is mixed with a human material, which has ashes and cinders, which give it this mottled appearance. And I consider this a very good demonstration of the saying, taking the rough with the smooth, which I think is probably a good approach to life. I'd encourage you to come and see for yourself. Um, and if you do, help yourself by downloading a free Shad Thames Trail guide from our website. That's loveshadthames.org. And I guarantee that if you're wandering around here like I am and are surrounded by these lovely buildings, it'll give a really good boost to your sense of well-being. Thank you.